What's moving after hours, my friend? Hey, there's three movers here after hours. We have United, we have Interactive Brokers, and Moderna. Let's kick it off with United. You're looking at gains of just about 3% here in after hours trading. We're up more than 6% earlier here in the afternoon trading. Positive results here from the company. Q1 profit, a lot of focus there. The outlook from United topping the street's estimates actually double more than double what the street was looking for. For the fourth quarter, the numbers were pretty strong. Adjusted EPS of $2.46, revenue of $12.4 billion. Putting that in perspective, that's up more than 50% on a year-over-year basis. Passenger revenue was $11.2 billion. That's up more than 60% on a year-over-year basis. Over the past three months, we're looking at gains of just about 41%. Over the past year, we are still in the green, up just about 9%. Let's take a look at Moderna. That stock popping here after hours, up nearly 7%. The move higher coming on positive results for its RSV vaccine. Phase 3 study of mRNA-1345. The company saying that it targets RSV in older adults. It met the endpoints of this study, saying that it was well tolerated. No safety concerns have been identified so far. Plans to submit for regulatory approval in the first half of this year. That stock up just about 6.6% in extended trading over the last year. We're still looking at losses from Moderna after the stock shot up in the height of COVID, but that stock off just about 7% over the past year. And taking a look at Interactive Brokers, that stock moving to the upside up just about 3% in extended trading. EPS and revenue both beating the street's expectations. EPS of $1.30 adjusted net revenue of $958 million. That's up 40% from just a year ago. Total customer accounts just over 2 million, 2.09 million. That's up 25% on a year over year basis. Over the past three months, we're looking at gains of just about 12%. Over the last six months, the stock well in the green, up just about 40%. But again, interactive brokers moving to the upside and extended trading up just about 3%.